Today we're going to take a quick look at how to maintain two different types of impact wrenches. One that uses grease to lubricate the hammer mechanism and one that uses oil. If the wrench has an Allen screw somewhere on the housing, it uses oil. And if it has a small grease fitting like this, it uses grease. To remove the housing, you have four screws. You can hold this in place and slide the housing straight up and off. And inside, you'll have something that looks like this. And there's a spring at the bottom of the anvil, so we're going to hold it in. And you'll see that there's two pins right here and here that hold the hammers in place. Those guys move around. And we're just going to pull this anvil out of here and keep the spring. The spring is standing up in there. That guy can come out like that and just slide back in there. And some of them have a spring, some of them don't. We'll set that back in. We'll put the cover back on and I'll show you how to oil it. The manual for this wrench says to fill the housing through this Allen screw with 15 cc's of 20 or 30 weight oil. And 15 cc's is one tablespoon. If you don't have the manual, a good rule of thumb is to partially fill this housing with 20 or 30 weight oil, run it forward and backwards for a few seconds, and then drain the excess. Put the screw in and you're set. <clears throat> Remember, too much oil slows it down and too little there's not enough lubrication. Instead of trying to dump a tablespoon of oil into that small hole, we can figure out how many squirts of oil it takes to fill that tablespoon. And it ended up being 10. So we're going to squirt 10 full pumps of oil into the housing. After you've installed the screw, you can run it forwards and backwards and you're finished. Again, if you don't have the manual, you can squirt some oil in there, put the screw in, run it forwards and backwards, pull the screw back out and drain any excess. Put the screw back in and you're finished. The best way to lubricate the grease type is to remove the cover and grease it by hand because you really can't tell how much grease you pumped into that little fitting. And if you pumped in too much, it'll slow it down too little and the grease won't get to the parts. So we've taken this apart and you can take these pins out if you want and remove the hammers, but we're going to leave them in there. So we'll just start by throwing some grease inside, making sure that's lubed up in there real nice. And we'll also throw some on the anvil. We'll stick this guy back in there. And then we'll get some grease and throw it on there real nice, like packing a wheel bearing. Just work it in there. And that's good. Let me get these gloves off. And now we'll set it back on, just like that. Install our gasket. Let's see, that goes like that. And put the cover back on. And when I put in these screws, I'll be back to finish up. After you put the screws back in and tighten them down, these screws went in through the back, through the gun, into the cover. You can run it forward and backward, and you're all set. Finally, it's always good to oil your air tools daily with a few drops of good quality air tool oil. 
I hope you enjoyed this video on maintaining different types of impact wrenches. If you did, and you'd like to get my latest videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.